Hey everyone and welcome back to another edition um, for the I'm First Summer video series. Super super jazzed to be here with you guys today as we'll be talking about volunteer and work experience. I know mostly in the summertime you're worried about chilling and hanging out, watching Netflix, sleep, those things are really important but we really want to talk a bit about volunteer work and work experience and how it's really really beneficial for you as you prep and plan for college so we're going to have a little bit of fun today we're going to actually play a game um you may or may not have heard of this it's called two truths and a lie so what i'm i'm going to do i'm going to make three statements two of them are going to be true and one of them is going to be a lie and you watching the viewer you have to figure out which is which so we're gonna get started and all of this is obviously focused around volunteer work and work experience so you need to figure out which two are true and which one is a lie so my first statement is work experience looks really really great well work and volunteer experience looks really great on a college on a resume for colleges or activity list for colleges first statement Second statement is you're more likely to get accepted to a college if you have a really long list or you've done a ton of volunteer work and you've had a ton of different jobs. So that's my second statement. So the third statement is you can get paid for some of your work experience as well as your volunteer work. Okay, so, so those are the three statements. So I'm going to give you about five seconds to sort of figure out which two are truths and which one is a lie. Go ahead. All right, I'm back. So have you figured out which two are the truth and which one is a lie? If you haven't, no worries, because I'm going to tell you and we're going to talk a little bit more about them. So the first statement I made, which was work experience looks great on resumes for colleges or activity lists for colleges. That is the truth. Colleges and um, universities love to see work experience and volunteer work on um, your activities list or extracurricular activity list that you submit to them. They want to see that you've done something um, in your community to help out, whether it's um, gardening at a nursing home or, you know, volunteering at a soup kitchen or, you know, volunteering at a daycare, any type of thing like that colleges and universities are really excited to see. Um, in terms of work experience, if you've been working in, during your four years of college or whatever year you're in, they love to see that. They love that you have some responsibility. They also love to see that you're able to work with other people. And, you know, if you do have sort of a leadership role, they love to see that, too. Um, so they know that you're coming in with leadership qualities. Colleges, universities love to see students that have these qualities that are able to um, be an asset to the campus environment. So the first statement was a truth. So the second statement, you're more likely to get accepted to college if you have a ton of work and volunteer experience. That's a lie. Um, while colleges and universities want to see that you have this experience, you know, you don't have to have had 12 jobs within four years for a college to accept you and you don't have to have volunteered at every, you know, homeless shelter in your community for a college to accept you. Uh, even if you volunteered at one place for three years, colleges love to see that. They'll see, hey, she was really excited about volunteering at this nursing home and this is something that she really loved and she did it for four years. Awesome. Or, you know, she found this one job that she really liked working during her four years of college and she stuck with the one. That works fine too. Again, colleges and universities just want to see that you have participated outside um, of school in terms of helping the community or getting some sort of work experience. So again, second statement was a lie. So um, the third statement, you pretty much already know. That's also a truth. You can get paid for some of your work and volunteer experience. So there is a difference between working and volunteering. A lot of volunteering is usually unpaid. So again, working at, um, working at, you know, uh, volunteering at a homeless shelter or, uh, you know, volunteering working for a clothing drive during the weekend. You don't typically get paid for those, but one thing that you can get, um, just depending, and I know this is really important for some high school students, are community service hours. So that's some sort of form of payment, not necessarily money, but definitely 
um, community service hours just in case uh, at your high school that's something you're required to get. So volunteering, you don't necessarily get paid, but you get a ton of experience. Um, it's fun. It's great. You get to meet new people and learn about your new passions. And you also have the ability to get community service hours. So that works. And working, um, that's typically at a job or an internship um, where you do get paid. So say, for instance, you worked at TJ Maxx. That's your employee there. You get paid um a check monthly or weekly or what have you and you also can learn leadership skills there I know a lot of times if you work there for a couple of years you'll start off as a cashier and then you move on to like an assistant manager I don't really know the rankings but these are some things some ways that you're able to use um, your leadership skills and working your way up uh, in your work field um, and this is really important because once you get on college campuses lots of colleges and universities want to see students involved and want to see students in leadership positions so if you have ever worked or if you've ever volunteered you sort of already got that under your belt you know what it's like to work with a group of people and to work collectively and collaborate and you also may or may not have experience in having a leadership role but these are awesome things that colleges and universities want to see so take this into account as you think about working during the summer or even volunteering you don't have to do a ton of volunteering but try something different try something new that you've never done before so that's it for this video i hope you really enjoyed the two truths and a lie game we will be back next week with another video until then be sure to to, um, go to our Facebook page, our Twitter page, our YouTube page to watch past videos that we've created and we will be back with you guys next week with a new video. Until then, ciao!